hey what's up guys uh, welcome back to the hacky sun tutorial today we gonna see about um, the basic tools available in the kali linux these tools are pre-installed in the kali linux which is available okay there are lots of tools available in the kali linux uh, and these pre-installed kali Kali Linux tools uh, will be used for various purposes. Okay, uh, let's uh, l let me give an uh, small introduction about th about the tools uh, pre-installed tools in the Kali Linux. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna use uh, my virtual box. Okay, uh, let me change it to full screen mode. Yeah. Okay. Um, First of all, after installing Kali Linux, you might have uh, update. You want you, you might have uh, updated your source list and uh, all the update updation works to be uh, have been done. I think so. Okay. Uh, after this, you can uh, you, you can see in the top left corner uh, like a list of pre-installed tools. Okay. And uh, the pre-installed tools are uh, like uh, Kali basically Kali Linux in the Kali Linux. Uh, these are the topics. Uh, these are the topics we, for which Kali Linux has been used okay uh, for gathering uh, information vulnerability as a, as a analysis uh, web, pent, web application analysis deb, database assessment and password attacks uh, wireless attacks reverse engineering exploitation tools uh, sniffing spoofing okay let me let, let me give a brief explanation about this uh, what is information gathering okay information gathering is nothing but if you if you are going to hack uh, if you go if you you are going to hack a um, web server or website first of all you need to gather some information about that right okay for that uh, you you might uh, you, you will be using uh, these tools and uh, in this there are there are lots of tools okay uh, in this i would specify uh, some important some most used common commonly used tools are uh, nmap nmap is uh, some network ba network uh, information gathering tool okay this, this will be awesome and Zenmap is a GUI version of Nmap okay it is a graphical user face user interface version of uh, Nmap and then um, Multigo Multigo was such an awesome tool and if you buy buy the tool it cost around uh, 1 lakh 64,000 in Indian rupees okay if you buy that uh, it is it, you can use it for multi-purpose you can do lots and lots and lots and lots of uh, things with the tool okay you, even you can dig uh, twitter data also okay uh, for, like uh, whom you follow and whom they follow the person you are trying to gather information whom they follow like that okay okay sorry guys i, I have got a call right now uh, so only i have gone okay let it be uh, let's continue chapter okay uh, in this uh, the multigo tool is um, such an awesome tool okay and uh, multigo nmap recon ng and zen map these are the awesome tools for your gathering information okay and uh, alternative tools are uh, like subdomain analysis for, for gathering subdomains uh, you can use uh, sublist uh, okay sublist was uh, somewhat awesome when compared with um, uh, some other tools okay in this matter and uh, then vulnerability analysis uh, that is uh, nikto nikto is uh, better than better in this case and zenmap sorry nmap is also nmap and nikto is better in this case okay for vulnerability assessment um okay web application attacks uh, commonly we, we, we some bug bounty hunters okay this this is uh, this panel is just for bug bounty hunters okay they they might uh, analyze some website okay uh, for for some vulnerability vulnerabilities so they can use these tools okay for a uh, burp suit for intercepting and uh, sql map uh, this is sorry sql map for sql injections and web scrap and wp scan like uh, this scan is for uh, wordpress scan and in this list uh, this uh, sql map and OAS zap and burp suit are awesome tools okay um next the database assessment uh, like uh, you, you you are getting uh, into a website and you got some sql error okay in that case uh, you can use these tools for uh, getting the database and the in this uh, this sql map is such an awesome tool and you have to learn something some commands in this uh, sql map for doing a database assessment and all okay password attacks um, 
mo these uh, tools uh, won't work like uh, you know, you know what password attacks have been um, expired because uh, nowadays uh, passwords are uh, more complicated and these password attack attacks will work under b word list attacks okay some common uh, common passwords like uh, password admin root administrator allow uh, hi at one two three like that uh, some common part passwords can be find found and using this uh, things okay wireless uh, sorry wireless attacks wireless attacks uh, nowadays some um, awesome tools or uh, private tools are available so you can use that like wi-fi pumpkin fluxion wi-fi fisher or tools uh, be better for uh, wireless attacks you don't use uh, these default tools okay mm, uh, if, if you are using i would like prefer wi-fi fisher and uh, aircrack ng aircrack ng is uh, not better than fear fluxion or uh, wi-fi fisher um fluxion wi-fi fisher and wi-fi pumpkin is awesome for wi-fi attacks and uh, wi-fi uh, sorry so okay um wi-fi fisher uh, wi-fi fluxion and um, wi-fi pumpkin okay are uh, these three tools are awesome for Wi-Fi attacks and reverse engineering you can do do reverse engineering using this like uh, this works under Metasploit framework okay Metasploit framework is the, is the awesome framework available in um, Kali Linux uh, even it is uh, community like uh, if you uh, try to hack anything you have to listen through Metasploit only that was the reason uh, it, it it has been separated from uh, all these tools it is it, it is totally different from all these tools okay mm. okay exploitation tools like army the, the the in this thing uh, all the tools are um, most tools are uh, awesome like Armitage beef uh, beef is a web uh, browser exploitation framework okay metasploit metasploit i have told you now metasploit framework and um, search exploit social engineering sql all are uh, awesome tools so you can use anything else and you have to metasploit itself or learning metasploit itself it will take uh, some period of time to understand the concepts and I, i'll be posting it uh, in the future videos okay so keep uh, keep in contact so that uh, if you have any doubts you can uh, post in the comment box okay so that i will be commenting i will be replying to your comments as soon as possible yeah the, uh, in the wi-fi attacks i was tracked right uh, i was just forget this name why why shark okay why shark is um intercepting uh some if you if you have hacked the website hack a wi-fi router and you want to intercept uh, and getting the details so you you can use wireshark like uh, you in wireshark you can get wi-fi pa uh, sorry login details and what are the uh, uh, what are the, all the websites the victim is surfing like that you can see everything um okay sorry uh like post exploitation ha ha you have done a hack okay really you have done a hack and after that you want to do something else uh, okay after that uh, you want to do a post exploitation uh, the, uh, this thing is uh, uh, after hacking what are all the things you are going to do right uh, these th these tools will help you in this case and forensics basically uh, digital forensics and you, uh, these are the tools which has been uh, used for uh, doing forensics okay um, reporting uh, like uh, in this multi go is uh, better okay uh, social engineering tools like AC toolkit yeah this is a C toolkit and this, this four come not comes under uh, tools because uh, these are general uh, these are repeating tools okay uh, like um, okay that's all today uh, I have given a short explanation about these tools and if you want a brief explanation in any of these tools just ping me just comment in the comment box so that i i can put videos on that okay so that you can get clarified even more and better okay um thanks for watching uh keep supporting us uh keep sharing our videos uh, so tell your friends share your sh share videos to your friends and tell them to subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you thanks a lot for your support